हेलो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन ओके एफ एस एम वॉट इज अ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन हैव यू स्टडीड दिस फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन लेट मी टेल यू दैट ओके वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी टेल यू दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन इन थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन सब्जेक्ट ओके सो इन थ्योरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन सब्जेक्ट दैट मीन्स ऑटोमेटा थ्योरी इन ऑटोमेटा थ्योरी सब्जेक्ट यू वी स्टडी समथिंग कॉल्ड डी एफ ए एंड वी ऑल्सो स्टडी समथिंग कॉल्ड एन एफ ए ओके मीन्स डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा सो दिस डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा दीज आर ओके दीज आर ऑल्सो फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन बिकॉज यू कैन नोटिस लेट मी टेल यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन ओके वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन सो रिमेंबर फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन दिस इज एनी मशीन इन विच यू हैव फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स सो बेसिकली ओके हियर यू हैव सम फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स ओके ओके फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन इन दिस वॉट वी हैव इन दिस वी हैव इन दिस मशीन वी हैव सम फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स ओके सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन इन दिस यू हैव सम सम फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स यू हैव ओके सम फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स यू हैव and total you have finite memory so you can notice in this you have finite number of states and this is the only memory that is available to you okay so this i can say finite number of states okay and no and no additional memory okay no additional memory okay no additional memory so you can notice this is the point finite state machine finite state machine means this is any any type of any type of machine you can create and you can create your own finite state machine okay like anything anything which has finite number of states okay and there is no additional memory basically you should have finite number of states and every state itself is a memory okay every state can remember something okay so you can notice that finite state machine the definition is this that you have finite number of states okay and there is no additional memory so this is the definition of finite state machine okay now the example of finite state machine for example you have a deterministic finite automata this is a finite state machine because in dfa what we have we have some finite number of states so you have finite number of states and there is no additional memory similarly in nfa in non deterministic finite automata what we have again we have finite number of states and we don't have any additional memory okay so in theory of computation subject these okay these we study dfa nfa these are finite state machine okay you can notice pda this is not a finite state machine turing machine this is not a finite state machine why because here we you have finite number of states but you also have infinite state so there is additional memory similarly in turing machine you have finite number of states but you have auxiliary memory but you have additional memory so what i am saying i am saying finite state machine this is any machine this is remember this is anything i can say this is anything this is anything okay anything that has anything that has finite number of states and there is no additional memory anything that has this type of situation okay finite number of states and no additional memory this is called finite state machine so you cannot dfa is a finite state machine the nfa is a finite state machine pda is not a finite state machine turing machine is not a finite state machine okay so this is these are the examples from toc okay these are the examples now let me give you some other examples from uh, from digital logic in the digital logic also you have created the state diagram yes or no in the digital logic what we have done for the sequence circuit we have created state diagram correct so you can notice you have a sequence circuit okay notice that for the sequence circuit what we have done very simple okay in a sequence circuit what we have let me tell you that you have a sequence circuit okay so sequence circuit basically means you have some flip flop okay sequence circuit this is a circuit okay in this uh, this is a circuit which contains flip flop okay circuit with flip flops correct so this is the definition okay of sequence uh, sequence circuit so i can say sequence circuit means sequ uh, circuit with flip flops okay and every flip flop Uh, okay uh, so uh, every flip flop so basically you have finite number of flip flops okay in this sequence circuit what we have in this sequence circuit we have some finite number of flip flops okay now you can notice that these are your finite number let us assume that you have two flip flops okay so let's assume you have two flip flops then in this case this sequence circuit will have four possible states okay so from two flip flops okay i can say that four possible states 
four possible states of this sequencer circuit okay so if you have four possible states of uh, so, uh, sorry if you have two flip flop then it means there are four states are possible okay so either this state or this state or this state or this state so for the sequencer circuit these states are possible okay so you can notice that in a sequencer circuit you have finite number of flip flop if you have k flip flop then how many states will be possible so you you can notice in this sequencer circuit in this sequencer circuit if you have let us assume you have k flip flops then how many states are possible then 2 power k states are possible okay and you know that this k is a finite number so because in a sequence circuit you have finite number of flip flop okay so i can say that finite number of states are possible so again you can notice that in the sequence circuit you can again notice that finite number of states are possible finite number of states possible okay in the last lecture we have seen uh, we have seen many different different uh, sequences circuit we have seen and in those sequences circuit you can notice if you have k flip flop then 2 power k states are possible okay so these uh, 2 power k states uh, are possible for this sequence circuit and because you have finite number of states so i can say this this sequence circuit is also a finite state machine okay so okay because you have finite number of states possible for the sequence circuit okay for the for the sequential circuit okay so i can say so a sequence circuit is also a finite state machine correct so i can say a sequence circuit is also a finite state machine okay so this is the definition of finite state machine i told you finite state machine means anything 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 that has finite number of states and there is no additional memory okay so you can notice in the sequence circuit if you have k flip flop then how many states will be there then 2 power k states are possible okay and you can notice 2 power k states means you have finite number of states so a sequence circuit can be described you can describe this sequence circuit using finite number of states so i can say in a sequence circuit you have finite number of states so i can say sequence circuit is another example of finite state machine so remember finite state machine okay finite state machine so in theory of computation subject these are the finite state machine in digital logic sequence circuit is the finite state machine there are many other finite state machine okay there are many other we will study for example we will also study that this milli machine okay this milli machine this is also finite state machine we will study that this more machine this more this this we will study this we will study okay so you can notice uh, milli machine more machine these are also finite state machine what it means it means that we have finite number of states and there is no additional memory okay so this milli machine more machine dfa nfa sequence circuit all these are example of finite state machine all of them these are finite state machines okay there are many other there are many 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 other finite state machines for example there is something called markov model okay so there is something called markov machine okay so again this is also finite state machine but anyway this is not in the syllabus so we will not worry about it okay so the point is the point is this okay anything 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 that has finite number of states and no additional memory is called finite state machine in theory of computation dfa nfa these are finite state machine okay and similarly in digital logic sequence circuit is finite state machine because a sequence circuit you can describe using finite number of states in a sequence circuit we have finite number of flip-flop and if you have n flip-flop then there will be 2 power n possible states so i can say in a sequence circuit you have 2 power n states so because you have finite number of states so i can say the sequence circuit is also a finite state machine milli machine more machine these are also these we will study these are also finite state machine so this is the definition of finite state machine i hope this definition is clear to everyone okay so remember okay this is the so let me tell you the definition so you can notice finite state machine this is anything okay this is the definition you can notice anything that has finite state uh, that that is finite number of states without additional memory okay anything any any such thing is called finite state machine so you can notice finite state machine okay i told you that dfa is a finite state machine nfa is a finite state machine milli machine more machine and also your sequence circuit sequence circuit is also uh, finite state machine so okay so this is the definition of finite state machine okay now let me tell you that many students they get confused what is the difference between finite automata and finite state machine okay what is the difference between these two okay for example finite automata we have two finite automata okay one is dfa dfa is a finite automata nfa is a finite automata so remember dfa comma nfa these are finite automata but finite state machines we have many okay 
finite state machines for example dfa is also finite state machine nfa is also finite state machine this milli machine this is also finite state machine this mure machine this is also finite state machine sequential circuit sequence circuit this is also finite state machine so all these are actually finite state machine so you can notice the difference is every finite automata is finite state machine but you can notice finite state machine can be anything which have finite number of states this has finite number of states this has finite number of states this also has finite number of states this also have finite number of states so you can notice that anything which has finite number of states that is called finite state machine and you can notice that this dfa comma nfa these are finite automata automata means these are language acceptors these are language acceptors these are language acceptors okay so remember these are language acceptors so this dfa comma nfa these they they accept language these are language acceptors this is the definition of automata automata means language acceptor okay they recognize languages okay though they recognize set of strings they recognize remember these are yes or no machines this uh, finite automata these are yes or no machine okay so let me tell you here okay so this automata this word you notice this word this automata this is basically a this is a this is a finite state machine this is a finite state mas oh sorry i can say this is a machine i can say because during machine push down automata these are also automata so you can notice automata means this is a machine which recognizes languages which recognizes languages okay okay so automata means basically this is a machine which recognizes languages okay now for example if this is your automata if this is your automata then you can notice you will give a string will be the input okay so you will give the string as a input and the output will be either yes or no okay so you can notice these are language acceptors okay the output will be yes or no these are yes or no machines okay so the automata this is a yes or no machine i can say these are basically yes or yes no machines okay i can say these are yes no machines or i can say these are language acceptors okay so remember these are language or i can say string acceptors okay if you are accepting the string then you can say uh, language or i can say set of strings okay so language or i can say string acceptors string acceptors okay so what i'm saying is if your okay uh, if your string is in the language then you will say yes if your string is not in the language then you will say no so this automata these are machine which recognize languages okay so you can notice dfa and fa these are uh, these are finite automata these are finite automata because because they have finite number of states okay and they accept language they recognize language okay now you can notice this mille machine mure machine and sequence circuit these three they they basically they compute function let me tell you they compute a function they compute function okay so you can notice that okay here you can notice automata in a automata if your input if you give some input w then the output will be either yes or no in the automata in dfa nfa turing machine pda dpda okay so in those you can notice if you give a string then the output will be yes or no either that string will be accepted or that string will be rejected okay so this is the definition of automata but what happens in uh, in these milli machine mure machine or sequence circuit what happens? so in this milli machine we will study mure machine we will study sequence circuit we have already seen okay so all these are finite state machines all these are this is a finite state machine this is a finite state machine this is a finite state machine okay and we call them transducers let me tell you that these these are called these are called transducers okay so this milli machine mure machine sequence circuit the name is transducers okay why the, why we call them transducer that will be clear okay so these are basically finite state transducers okay so these are actually finite because they have finite number of states so that is the reason finite state and they are transducers what it means it means like this okay uh, this is your transducer this is your transducer now in the transducer you can notice if you give some input then the output will be function it will compute some function okay the output see in the automata you okay, the difference you can notice in the automata if you give some input then the output will be yes or no either this string will be accepted or this string will be rejected but you can notice this transducer transducer means they compute function okay they these transducers they compute functions they compute functions what it means it means that if you give some input then some function will be computed okay you are giving input w okay and some function will be computed for example i can say that okay if if you are if you have a, a transducer for uh, computing one's complement okay then what will happen so let us assume you have a transducer m 
let us assume okay so let us assume you have a transducer m okay which computes one's complement which which computes one's complement one's complement of a binary string of a binary string okay so if you give a binary string then it will compute one's complement so you can notice this is your m okay and if you give the input for example if you give this input okay this input if you give then what will be the output you can notice the output will not be yes or no the output actually will be the one's complement so this is your w okay and the output actually will be function the function will be computed and what is the function the function is one's complement so one's complement will be computed okay and for this string the one's complement is very simple okay you just change every you just flip every bit okay so this for this string this is the one's complement okay so this is what i want to say remember automata they accept or reject the string so you give a input string that either will be accepted or that will be rejected okay so they are basically acceptors i can say these are basically acceptors okay so this is the point acceptors okay and you can notice this milli machine murray machine sequencer circuit they perform some function they compute some function okay these are called transducers this milli machine murray machine sequencer circuit these are called finite state transducer because they have finite number of states okay and transducer means they compute function so if you give some input then the output will be function some function will be computed okay for example if you have a transducer which computes one's complement so let us assume this is your transducer and this will compute one's complement okay then what it means it means that if you give input this if this w is the input then the output will be uh, this function this function will be computed what is the function the function is complement so this complement will be computed okay so this is the difference between all these things so i hope all these points are clear to everyone so remember dfa and nfa these are automata they are acceptors they will accept language so these are language acceptors okay and you can notice milli machine murray machine sequencer circuit they will compute functions okay so these are actually transducers okay so you can notice the milli machine murray machine okay these are actually these are called transducers transducers means transducers okay and transducers means they compute function okay so basically transducer means they compute some function okay so this is the difference between finite automata and finite state machine remember all of them are finite state machine because anything which has finite number of states that is called finite state machine so you can notice all these are finite state machine but these are finite automata automata means okay automata is a yes no device accept or reject okay and these are they will compute function so this is the whole difference okay i hope all these things are clear to everyone okay in the next lecture what we will do we will start mille machine mure machine so this is this is the topic that we will study in the next lecture okay